In GIMP, it's really easy to create custom shapes with the Paths tool. So we want to create a new layer to put our path on. And we go over here to the Paths tool and we click this. So we're just going to create a basic moon shape. And I'm going to click up here. And to make this curve, we click another point and we keep holding our mouse down and dragging. And we get these antlers for the angle adjustment. So this would be the top one. And once you create one down here, this one would be the bottom one. So I'm going to put this up onto the circle kind of close to it so this angle isn't too extreme when I make it. So I'm going to click on this circle again and then click out here and drag. And I'm going to keep doing this and adjusting these angles until I have a shape that I'm happy with. And when we want to complete this path, we make another point, we make another point and drag it to the angle that we like, and then we connect it to the original point that we started this path with. And now that we have this shape, we want to make this a selection so we can fill it with color or gradient and things like that. So we want to go over here to the histogram and go over to from this layers icon right here to the paths dialog. And you can see this path that we made right here. We want to click this path, right click, and select path to selection. And now it's selected this path that we made into a selection. So if we don't want to see these uh, path lines anymore, we can just click a different tool and it will get rid of it and just show this path. And we want to go back to the layers dialog and we want to make sure we have this layer separate from our background selected. And we want to go over to the bucket tool. And if we don't want to fill it with this gray color or whatever color you have selected, you can just go down here and click this foreground color and drag it and edit it to what color you want. And click OK. And as you can see in this layer, it will only allow us to fill this selection. So we want to click this selection and it filled the selection that we custom made. And now we want to get rid of these lines. So we go up to select none. And now we have an editable shape that we can resize, rotate, change color of, etc. This should help you make custom icons, logos, and any other custom shape that you want. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like, subscribe, and comment for more.